The worst armies at Town Hall 15. 64 hog riders, queen charge mass headhunters, and a mass giant army. But can they triple at Town Hall 15? Here's the first base we will attack, but let's first take a look at the army. The first army will be a complete mass hogs army. Now for the CC, we will take the flame flinger with some more hog riders. We're first going to deploy three hog riders to test for traps, then the flame flinger right behind that, and the goal of this flame flinger is to take out that scatter shot. Now I'm going to deploy the rage right by the town hall and this monolith, then the invis real quick with three skeleton spells at the town hall, one skeleton spell at the monolith, and the second invis now real quick to help out. Now the third invis, I accidentally invis this monolith, but our main goal here is to get the town hall. I'm going to deploy the fourth invis and the final rage spell. Now this fifth invis, and this is our last chance. That builder is not helping out. The skeleton spells are just able to take that down and get the last whack up on that monolith. I got very lucky there because if I could not get the town hall there is no shot at the three star. So now we're going to deploy the king up in this top side cannon. I'm really not concerned if he goes to the left or right and let him work through these skeleton traps. Now we engage the king so we're going to deploy the queen to help him power through the enemy king as fast as possible. Save our king's HP. I really want the queen to go to the right top side to help maybe take out that scatter shot at least in the later part of the attack but king I don't really care if he goes down or not looks like the queen will go up to the top right side so now I'm gonna start down here on the bottom side with about half the hog spam them in real fast now with the warden on ground mode and the world champion and let them work up their way into a bunch here pop the warden ability right before that uh, eagle strikes down you do get the eagle out and you end up pulling two giant bomb without any heal spells or any spells these core multis may be a problem and it looks like they get to the one and I'm gonna start up here on the top side to kind of surround this backside scatter shot from all sides to take that down this world champion has been really working through these hog riders since we have no headhunters but we just have a few defenses left so hopefully they'll be able to take her out finally they do turn on the world champion get the revenge and we do have six remaining hog riders I'm gonna sprinkle them on these outside trash buildings help with the clean up get this finished as fast as possible I'm gonna start up here on the top side with the queen then a loon to test for seeking air mines then the five healers and our first priority with this queen charge is going to be to take down that town hall and I'm really concerned about this air defense right here taking out our healers so I'm gonna send in a couple more loons in via these right side structures and that made the queen target the air defense maybe she was going to already but the main goal is just to be able to funnel her into this town hall right now and I'm gonna pop a rage on her have the king on this right side to funnel and maybe the king can funnel himself into that scatter shot compartment and get out that world champion at least that's the goal the queen does take Take down the town hall now we're gonna drop a jump spell right behind that monolith so hopefully the queen will be able to path into there take down those core single target infernos and we're gonna kind of funnel this other side of the town hall compartment with this baby dragon and loons drop a freeze on that monolith and pop a Another rage. I uh, probably should have saved that freeze because now we got this single target inferno. So we're gonna pop the queen's ability, and looks like she'll be able to work her way through into this other single target inferno. I'm not sure about the second one, but King barely just gets the world champion down in this scatter shot. Now we're going to spam in all the headhunters with the warden and the world champion, drop that rage, and it looks like uh, I forgot about the backside queen, so they all rush to her, and I missed the warden's ability, and uh, I'm just going to pop that, help protect this world champion. It looks like we got so much value with uh, Siege Machine, as well as the heroes all around, that this attack still might pull through, even though I pretty much swagged all the uh, headhunters. Probably would not have a pass before the update, for Town Hall 15 got a bit easier. gonna deploy three or four loons right here then the warden on ground mode and then the blimp and wait a second pop the warden ability let this blimp travel towards the town hall and I'm gonna drop it right here in front of the town hall the invis and that rage spell I'm gonna drop the second invis uh, looks like these wizards are a bit distracted off on these other trash buildings I probably dropped it a little too soon I only have one this is my final invis they pull a giant bomb but they do get some good damage so I'm just gonna pop a freeze it's a bit late that's I barely am lucky to get the town hall with the warden coming in to help and then I just recalled him now I'm gonna finish pulling the CC with this archer out here on this collector I'm gonna use a loon now to help last a little longer help pull it even more I'm gonna drop this poison and then the baby dragon to help finish off that CC so now I'll deploy the queen and then our king to help push their way down to the bottom side eagle the artillery and uh, of course the grand warden with them as well and then spam these giants in with a couple of 
wizards behind each of them i really don't want to spam in all the giants i kind of just want to do it as we go around for our heal spell to kind of catch a group of these giants in it i probably should have brought a jump spell instead considering how compartmentalized the space is but maybe i'll send the world champion in for that eagle since it looks like most of our troops are walking around so i'm going to continue to deploy a few giants on this outside to help kind of push the heroes into the core of the base if possible and of course i don't want to use them all at once so the world champion does take down the eagle and she's working her way into that expo and hopefully she'll be able to come in and help in this back end with these two scatter shots and all these heroes i'm going to start up here point our remainder giants and that headhunter to help kind of get through these heroes if nothing else, we do still have our queen's ability, so maybe since we have no more spells, we cannot freeze for this world champion. And we're going to pop her ability here, since that single target inferno has locked onto her. Like I said, if nothing else, we still have our queen's ability. I'm going to pop that to get to that inferno, and this is the last building. 